More change-ups than any other pitch to these righties. See how they handle that. See if they stay through the middle. Here's a bunt from Margo. And Gomber has no play. So Trevor Plouffe has been leading <laughs> the bunt train here for a while vocally. And Margot said, I hear you. I'm going to lay one down. There's a couple of reasons I like this play. When you have a lefty on the mound, even though he's falling off that way, to make that throw, he's got to spin. Okay, then you see McMahon, he was playing back. So it's almost an invitation like, hey, if you want this, you can have it. As long as you can execute that bunt, it is a free pass to first base. It'll be interesting to see if he throws him a fastball here. It looks like he's been sitting off speed. Line to left center field, and there's a base hit. Was off speed, a change up, and Correa. Singles to left center. The Twins have two on, nobody out. Looking to answer back. And now Royce Lewis, his first at bat today. Two on, and nobody out. Lines it to left center field, and that'll land. A late break from Margo. He's going to be held by Tommy Watkins. And the Twins are in business here. Three on, nobody out. Interesting note, by the way, on Gomber. He's allowed 25 earned runs this season. 13 of which have been scored in the first inning this season. Some pitchers just, you know, they need to get into the game to feel, you know, good about their pitches and their location. Maybe that's what is going on with Gomber, but Royce with a nice swing right here. Kind of a difficult read for Margot. He's got to turn around a little bit. He understands the range of Bretton Doyle, so. Smack to left field. J.K. will see this one land. It's a base hit. Margot will score. Everybody moves up one RBI single Byron Buxton. It's a 1 1 game. Good swing here. Got himself a break ball down and in. And just like we saw last night, almost like a three quarter swing, just shortening up and making sure he's getting the barrel to the ball. He ended up going with that slider and ends up staying in the middle of the plate because he had to throw it for a strike. He was in a 3 2 count. Byron did a good job of keeping that back going. Keep the line moving, a little fired up. Always good to answer. Twins were down by three runs in the ninth inning, but Santana made it a game. Landing one into the dock. In right. Sends this one to right center field, deep in the gap. Carry back towards the wall. That's going to be in play and off the wall. One run scores, two runs score. Buxton heading home. He scores easily. Santana's going to third. He's going to be safe there. Carlos Santana drives in three, and the Twins strike for four already here in the opening inning. Oh, get to Gomber early. They've been able to do that. Great approach right here. Great swing. Watching Buxton fly around the bases is something special. And then. Santana figured he'd get in on the act too. Taking the extra base on the throw. And just a breaking ball that hung up over the plate. So much happened on this play. First of all, you're right. Watching Byron Buxton run is, is a treat. But then you see Santana see the throw, and Stallings is going to go and cut this off and throw him out. This was bang bang, but if it's that split second that the catcher has to step into that ball instead of the spin. Farmer out there today against the lefty and Gomber and Willie's in left. Line to center field. RBI single Kyle Farmer. 5-1. Boys came to hit today. Little Nooner ready to go. These ones can sneak up on you. Right handed heavy lineup and they've got themselves a lot of breaking balls hanging over the big part of the plate but not getting pull happy with them not thinking I got to hit this 600 feet into the left field stands it's working through the big part of the field to produce a lot of good at bats and quality contact and they've been trying to react they've been trying to figure out how to pitch around this lineup and Castro strikes out but both starters combined for 61 pitches in the first the twins bat eight and post a high five Carlos Santana drove in three good start here at Target Field. Punch to right and there is the first five hit game in the career of Carlos Correa. <laughs> Gotta love it. It's the close team. These guys are playing for each other. They're happy for each other when they have success. 
You do something like this, you know these days at the ballpark are pretty rare, pretty special. You could tell he knew he's never had a five hit day. Yeah. He's probably talking to Doug other, hey guys, I'm, I got a chance to do something here. Was also now 18 hits as a team. That's a new to right center field towards the gap. Tolia, no chance. Hits the grass and finds the wall. Carlos Correa will be held. It's a double for Lewis. I mean, you hit a homer on the pole side. You hit a 104 mile an hour bullet to the opposite field. Like, I don't understand how you pitch to this guy. How do you attack him? Where do you go? There's no safe areas in the strike zone. This ball splitting the outer edge at 98 miles an hour. And just such a simple swing, just staying through it, head down, letting the barrel work. Was Nelson Cruz. Miranda bangs it to right and deep. Back it goes towards the corner and in play and off the wall. Two runs will score. Miranda diving into second base with an eighth inning two run double. And the Twins open it back up and lead 12 8. Good old fashioned slugfest here at Target Field. Twins came to hit today from the first inning on. They were ready to go. Love the at bats, love the approach, using the entire field. Miranda getting in on the action as well. We saw him opposite field double in the gap earlier in the ball game. Now he takes it all the way to right field. I've in a couple. This team has just answered. Every time Colorado's tried to fight back, they've had an answer. It's a wonderful approach when you got, have guys on second and third like that. You get that slider. I think that's the second off speed pitch. He's driven to the opposite field. And draws a walk. So four straight have reached now against Mears. So Byron earning that. A hot start turned into a good half. Towards the hole, off the glove of the first baseman Montero and sneaks into right field. Miranda will try and score, and he will. 13-8. Buxton made third, Miranda scores. Santana hangs on at first, twins up the lead to five. Santana just getting the job done, finding holes. You know, that was a, a play that Montero probably should have made right there, but when things are going good, things are going good. It's a hit. That's a knock. Infield in. Runners at the corners. The 1 1. Line to left field. There's base hit number three. And his second RBI today. That brings in Buxton. And the lead is back to six. There's your guy, guy. My best friend Kyle Farmer coming through. I know he's feeling good about today. There's been loud noises all day long at Target Field. I think probably also happy to get an opportunity to get five at bats in a game, go up there and have some rhythm and see some pitches at bat after at bat. Smack to center field. Doyle will lunge forward and. Santana oh, no. wasn't sure if oh, that was no. a catch or a trap, and it's a clean catch and an out and a double play. Now you can challenge this, but that was ruled a catch, and Santana was stuck in no man's land. He was looking at Alfonso Marquez, but it's not his call. It was first base umpire Roberto Ortiz's call. That's, that's got some grass ground. there, right? That's a trap. I got to see close. Is that his glove underneath it? That's tough. Minnesota shouts in the call of catch. After review, the call is overturned. It is not a catch. The bases will be loaded, and Minnesota will retain their challenge. First, the 2 0 to Vasquez. Pull fair down the left field line. Santana, come on down. Farmer. He scores. Castro stops at third base. Vasquez drives in two. And it's 16 to 8. And the Twins now with 24 hits. And that's the most allowed by the Rockies in a road game in team history. In a road game. 24 I, hits today and counting. I just, I've never seen a baseball game like this in person, I guess. Just relentless. Just. No let up. Line to right field. Tolia makes the catch. Castro will tag and score. So Max picks up an RBI. It's 17 to 8.